Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review for you guys. So the movie I'm reviewing today is Till Death. So Till Death is Megan Fox's return to the thriller and horror genre after the really not good reception that Jennifer's body had when it originally released. And I think that she does very well, and this movie ended up being a big hit for her. It was not released in theaters, I don't think. And let's just get right into what this is about. So we have Megan Fox, who is playing Emma, and she is having an affair with Tom. She decides to cut off the affair with Tom on her and her husband Mark's anniversary. I believe it's their 12th anniversary or 11th, whatever the steel anniversary is, because that plays a big role in this. And so we know that they're very unhappy in their relationship. They go to a, a dinner and Emma has bought Super Bowl tickets for Mark and Mark is like, no, I do not like those. He has bought Emma a, a necklace that is made out of steel and you can just tell how uncomfortable Emma is during this whole entire thing. So they finish up eating at this restaurant and Mark's like, here's a blindfold, put it on and we'll see where we're going. And so they start driving. Emma's like, it's been an hour, where are we going? She finally takes off the blindfold and they're at their lake house. And this is the middle of the winter, so there is snow everywhere, the lake is frozen over, and they go into the house, and Mark has kind of set up this little, like, scavenger hunt type thing, and it leads Emma to the bedroom where they end up having sex, and they go to sleep. Uh, Emma wakes up, and she's handcuffed to Mark, and she's like, what what's going on? What is this? And Mark is saying some things. He's kind of cryptic. And then all of a sudden you hear a shot. And it turns out that Mark shot himself. And she is now handcuffed to his body and has to figure out what she's going to do next. And that's where I'm going to leave the synopsis. So I would say that this movie is really kind of just like a glorified Lifetime movie. And I think, I mean, even down to having like one big star and then the rest of the people are just kind of like working actors. It's not super gory and there's nothing really that is like too crazy that it couldn't be aired on television. So I, I did, I was a little disappointed by that. But I mean, this just kind of proves that some of the like Lifetime and Lifetime style movies are actually pretty entertaining. This movie is also like very similar to a lot of other movies. I kind of in my mind was like this is kind of like Gerald's Game meets Saw meets Home Alone and it's just kind of a conglomeration of all of those. So it's not like super original in that aspect but I did enjoy the things that it took from the other movies. And I think that this is also like a, a very predictable movie, but I also have a feeling that it might have been a bit intentional that this movie was so predictable. And that's because as we go through this movie, it's always like Mark has been one step ahead of Emma and everything that she's doing. So in a sense, Emma's doing all of these things that are super predictable, and Mark has predicted them. And speaking of Emma, let's talk about Megan Fox. And I think that she is really good in this movie. I, there were a couple little things where I was like, I don't know, like, once her husband shoots himself and he dies and there's blood all over her she's not really she has no reaction really she's just kind of in shock which I could kind of understand but also it's like even if you didn't like your husband and he did that it's still a person getting shot there should at least be some semblance of a reaction 
So I just kind of felt like she was a little bit too nonchalant about it the entire time. And that was kind of like, meh. But I do think that she was good in this role. And I think that she did do a good job. And I hope to see her in more horror and horror adjacent projects in the future. Also, it's kind of weird that the promotional material for this movie is literally like a spoiler, kind of. And that it is like the last scene in this movie. So, but also it's not because they, the promotional material doesn't actually happen. I was like waiting the entire time. I was like, okay, this gotta happen. And then it happens, but it's nothing like what you thought it was. So I, I did think that that was kind of weird that the image of Megan Fox on the ice and she's got the handcuffs around her and the hole in the ice. And yeah, that never happens in this movie. So I guess it is kind of a spoiler, but also not a spoiler. So take that with what you will. And I actually rated this movie a 4 out of 5 stars. I was very surprised at how much I liked this. And even though I did have some issues with it, it was a fun watch. And I was not angry that I watched it. So I definitely would recommend that you guys check it out if you haven't already. That is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen Till Death and what you thought of it, whether you liked it or you didn't like it and why. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.